Right. So I've picked up a DS Lite from eBay for the princely sum of eight pounds. And it's described as four parts not working, not tested, sold a scene, no idea what's wrong with this item. I bought it a long time ago to fix, but I didn't have time for that. So I'm going to have to try to fix it. So the first thing you want to start off with is some known working things. So this is a known working battery. And we can test that battery. There you go. So we know the battery works. And we also have a known working charger. So we'll plug that in and the orange light comes on. So we know that the battery and the charger that we're going to try and diagnose the fault with is working. So let's open this up. Actually, let's try to switch it on first. It's dead. No power. Now if this, this known working charger turns this on, it's going to be a short video. So it does turn on. Now I'm worried because I'm worried the screens are broken. And it's not turning on. Okay, so we've got charge. So something's working, but it's not turning on. Let's try a known working battery. Is there a battery in here? Not be. Can I go in? All gunked up. Yeah. Let's try this one. No. Give it a whack. I don't know. Yeah. That must be. Now it's either gunk or it's battery corrosion. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's hand gunk. If I can get it in. There we go. There's a battery in. A sign it hasn't got water damage and there is no corrosion on those terminals so let's try our known working battery because that's a good sign we've got ah uh, so we've got let's just turn that off again We've got sound. We've got what looks like a good bottom screen, but the top screen has been damaged. The hinge is nice, so it's a shame that the top screen's damaged. If the hinge was broken and the top screen was broken, it could be made into one of the macros. Let's uh, grab a game, see if a game works. What game? What game shall I try? Simpsons. I normally try Mario Kart. Where's Mario Kart? Mario Kart. There's something. It's a bit wobbly the hinge, but it's it's not broken. I 
Just skip through this. Have we got a faulty? Let's see. The um, touch screen seems okay. We're going to read a game. Got to turn it back on again. It's no good sitting looking at it. Yes. So, the card reader works fine. It hasn't been water damaged. We'll try the bottom one because these play. Oh, we've got an old. There we go. Have I got a Game Boy Advance game on hand? I do. I have Wario Land 4. I mean, <laughs> did. To be able to play a game with a, on an old console, that's, well, it's a bit worse for wear, without having to clean the top slot. Quite an achievement. Start G, oh, you can see, start GBA game. And that's working too. So, well, that's turned into a rather uneventful video. So, we can clean this up, but it, the top screens are the worst screens to go because they're the most challenging to, to replace. Not difficult, it's just a pain in the backside to do it. That's a real shame. I'm not sure if it's got a screen protector on it. I don't know if there's a screen protector on there. But anyways, it's it's faulty anyways. I'm going to leave this to charge up. This is the original battery. I put a bit of Captain tape on my batteries. It makes them easier to pull out. I'm going to leave this to charge up for 10 minutes and we'll come back to that in 10 minutes time and we'll see if the battery does indeed hold a charge. Okay, so that's had about half an hour of charge because I've had my tea. Let's see if this is going to switch on. We will take that out and see how we see if we get a green light we do have a green light and we do have a charge in the battery so the battery is working i'm going to go through all that again touch screen's working it's a shame about the top screen the case is in good condition uh, you'll notice i've cleaned the sticker off with some ip alcohol so what's next for this one? If I do come across a working top screen, I could put a new screen in there. Or I could use the motherboard and the bottom screen and make a macro. So I haven't learned much from the video because it's not faulty or it doesn't have a fault. The only thing that's faulty in this video is if autofocus on this terrible webcam. Are we? There we go. Actually, I'll just leave that battery in. The 
there is quite a, a bit of muck in there. And I don't think this cover comes off. Is it possible to remove this cover? It looks like it's It looks like it's bonded on somehow. I don't think I can get let's put some IP in there. I don't want to get any IPA in the speakers. If anyone knows a way of cleaning these, the colours might be nice, and the but the the clear the clear shell that they've got on top is a big letdown when it comes to dirt getting in there. The, the normal shells are much, much more durable. So what have we learned from the video? Not a lot. I've got a hopeless webcam. But always start your fault finding, if you can, with a some known working parts, known working battery, known working charger, that type of thing. And things will go much easier. So thanks for watching, that's what you get for £8 of eBay. What is wrong with this camera? That's what you get for £8. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully the next one. It'll be properly broken. Anybody know the way to focus cameras? There we go, text. Uh, if anybody knows a way of cleaning the inside of there, let me know in the comment section below. And like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.